Welcome to the chapter of human nutrition. In this module, that is module number one, we will be learning about the introduction to human nutrition. Hi students, let's see, what is nutrition? Yes, nutrition, here it is. Nutrition comprises of many things put together. First, there is a process called as ingestion. What is ingestion? Ingestion means taking in the food. After ingestion, something comes called as digestion. In a couple of minutes, I will teach you what is digestion. After digestion, there is absorption. Do we know what is absorption? Yes, we do. Then after absorption, there is something called as assimilation. This might be a new word for you. In brief, let me explain. Assimilation means the food which is absorbed, it is going and settling inside the cell. Then, after assimilation, we have a process called as ejection. What is ejection? Ejection means removal of the waste material from the body. So, a clubbing of all these events, that is ingestion, digestion, absorption, assimilation and ejection all together gives us our nutrition. Now, let us see the functions of nutrition. The first function of nutrition is to provide growth to the organism. Yes, because of the food that you eat, you are able to grow. After growth, the second function is providing energy to the organism. Obviously, if you don't eat, do you think you will have the energy to do any work? No. After energy, the third function is repair and regeneration. Means if at all there is any wound or if you are hurt in the body at any place, then the food that you eat, the vitamins that you take, the nutrients which you take will help in repair. And last but not the least, it also provides protection by building your immune system. Let's come to digestion. A couple of minutes back, I had told you I will describe to you what is digestion. Let us define digestion. Digestion can be defined as the process of converting complex, non-diffusible, and non-absorbable food substances into simple, diffusible and absorbable substances. So how can I define digestion? Digestion can be defined as the process of converting complex, non-diffusible, non-absorbable food substances into simple, diffusible and absorbable food substances. After this, let's see some food substances. Do we eat all these? Yes, these are some of our favorite items to eat. Am I right? Well, what do these food items contain? These food items contain nutrients. And which are the nutrients? Yes, the nutrients are carbohydrates, they are proteins, they are fats, lipids. Also, there is water and vitamins as well as minerals. Now, out of all of these nutrients, what we see is the carbohydrates, proteins and fats are described to be macronutrients. Why macronutrients? They are called as macronutrients because they are required and consumed in large quantities. Then if we see vitamins and minerals, these are known as micronutrients because they are consumed in smaller quantities. So, in this module, what we learnt about was first an introduction to this chapter. In the introduction, what did we learn? We first learned what all comprises in nutrition. Then we study the definition of digestion. In our next module, we will be learning about carbohydrates. Till then, take care.